Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to City Skylines. I don't know why we're so high up in the air. Let's zoom in to Engertopia. Yep, look at this city we have built over many, many episodes. What is that? Oh yeah, built a massive skyscraper in the airport. I forgot about that. So at the end of last episode, our massive Pukano, which does produce us infinite power thanks to these dams. Uh, it did it did flood, apparently. This used to be an airport. It's now under several meters of poo water. Our river over here is it's just poo. I don't even know. I think, I think what happened, all this poo water, there's so much, like, it literally goes off the map. I think there was so much sewage, it actually displaced the actual water. Yeah, look, it's raised the water level. Look at that bridge. People used to be able to get under there easily, and it's flooded over here. This is our very efficient industrial area. If you look carefully at the roads, they are very, very very efficient. However, when you're flooded, you can no longer be efficient. And I think the trouble is, because we built over here, like, all these new residential areas with their fancy roads, like, everyone wants to come here. Everyone just wants to drive this. It's basically a tourist attraction at this stage. But I think all the people over here, it sort of, it brought in, like, new takeaways. We got Thai, we've got Mexican, we got kebabs, or kebabs, if you're American. Yeah, and I think all that food, it's made people poo a lot more. Maybe I'm talking bollocks, because, yeah, hang on, there's, the water's not even going down the chute. So this is the poo chute. Usually there would be a constant flow of poo wads coming down where he would be able to travel up here, do a little tour of where the architects live, and then over to this port. But you can see this is completely dried up, which means there's not actually as much poo water in here as I thought there was. So the question is, how... I was going to say, the question is, how is it escaping? Perhaps it's through there? <laughs> so that's that's the road to Architect Hill. Why, why is there a hole in it? I literally don't know how it leaked, if I'm honest. But that's like, that's a serious amount of poo. Look at the amount of water coming out from in there. That's the... That's that's the airport. Is it going to drain? All right, we'll just time lapse from here and we'll see if the water drains from the airport, if it all gets clean and stuff. Right, so good news. It looks like the pollution has gone. The river's nice and clean. We've still got some poo lakes over here that are sort of semi-drying out. And then down here, the airport, it's it's completely dried out. I mean, granted, this was full of poos and it's, it's now still filled with logs, but... um. <laughs> There's a log on the runway, man. But hopefully that should be back in action soon. Nice. I did also install a few new mods thanks to comments. So we're going to get the automatic bulldoze. That will demolish like abandoned buildings. Now we've also got this, the infinite demand mod. So if we turn that on, that means if we build like an area of residential, for example, there'll be infinite demand for it. So the buildings will just get built. No more waiting. We've also got this one, the not so unique buildings. That allows you to build all the unique buildings more than once. So they're no longer unique. And I think it's time to unlock everything. So tick, we've unlocked literally everything. We've got all the wonders, all the landmarks. We're going to build this city exactly how we want it. Right, and now we're back in. Check this out. We, we've got a megalopolis. We've unlocked all the road tiles. We've got all the monuments, all the upgrades, all the not so unique buildings, which means we've completed the game despite all the red warnings. Okay, there's a lot of red warnings. For, oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So over here, we're, we're still flooded. So I think we will we'll get rid of that flood water the easiest way I know how. I love that these guys are literally, they've just built in a flood. Like, what, what are you doing? Why are you building a house there? It's literally underwater. Now, now he's complaining that it's flooding. Yeah, but don't worry, guys. I've engineered a way to get rid of the flood waters. And uh, here it is. It's a sinkhole. Goodbye, water. <laughs> Look at that. It works fantastically. All the water is being drained in an instant. Although, I think it's full already. <laughs> oh, no. Now the water's flooding back up into the areas. Oh, sorry. Oh, you can actually see how deep the sinkhole It's not actually as big as I thought it would be. I might help them out a bit. Let's do level terrain. We'll select down there. And then with intensity up, we'll drain that a bit more for them. There you go, guys. There we go. That is how you do a sinkhole, guys. That is much... I mean... <laughs> So I was literally just built over the sinkhole. Oh, is it because I think it's because we got the infinite demand on. I mean, there's still water rushing under your house. Why are you building? Look at that shipping container. It's so precariously balanced there. Oh, and look, we've we've got traffic. Finally, all the ambulances can leave. There is a truck holding them up, though. Oh, and I think that building, it was literally just washed away into the sinkhole. Oops. Anyway, let's just fix this road. You can see it needs replacing. All right, and then we're good. We're back in action. People are complaining about lack of, lack of water 
water is that? And lack of bins. All right, let's have a look at the water situation. Uh, okay, the sinkhole completely cut the drainage network into two. So if I just connect those up like that sort of thing. There we go. Everyone's Everyone's got drainage again. Nice. Next up, we're going to invest some of our infinite income in a waste processing complex. Oh, man, this thing is huge. Why is this? Why is it so big? So we've shoved that there. And then I think we'll put like a, a landfill pretty close to it. Because then as the landfill picks up all the rubbish from this area, the recycling plant should recycle it, basically. Nice. Right. That's one problem fixed. <laughs> On to the next pro... Oh, no. What? How did this happen again? Oh, this time it's it's leaked down this side this time. Oh, it's leaking. It's leaking there. Oh, no. Our tunnel is completely poo flooded. Okay, it looks like... I mean, I can't even work out how it's flooding there, really. Is it going out there? It's going out that bit, I think. I think we, we've just got to, we've got to fix this using engineering. Oh, man. We've got a bit of a ramped corner here with the boat. I think, actually, maybe what we've done... I think maybe we've added, like, too much poo down here. Like, the water level's so high. Although, not gonna lie, that looks like a pretty good job, I think. No, it, it definitely hasn't stopped. It's, oh, man, I can't believe this is flooded again. Okay, what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to fix two problems at once. One problem, we don't have any space. So, let's buy some tiles. Unfortunately, we're now buying the pollution of the river, which means it's now our problem. But it also means, after a lot of clicking, we've bought the entire map. Time to get to work. Let's just follow this pollution downstream and see what the situation is. Interesting. So down here, the water sort of goes off the end of the map. Man, what <laughs> what an eyesore that is. Before I built my city, that was just like flat landscape. You could just see sky. Now we've got a huge poo which is leaking. Oh my god, look how much of this map is poo at the moment. Oh no, it's even it's even leaked down here. Though thankfully down here, our, our Atlantis is still going strong. Oh no, Atlantis is underwater as well. Damn it. All right, I do think all of this is caused by excess poo though. So let's get building another poo cano. It's First off, we gotta, we got to delete this railway. It's in the way. We gotta delete these pylons. And over here, we gotta delete a few of these. Yes, please delete them. Because what we're gonna do, we're gonna select the landscaping tool. We're gonna use the level terrain option. And we're gonna select this level here. So where the poo leaves currently, that is the level of our new poo canal. Now we got a bit of a flat area, so that's looking good. What I'm gonna do first though, I think I'm gonna do the higher level, and then we'll cut out the canal afterwards. So we'll right click like there. We'll do a big area and we'll grab all of this. And we're just going over this. Wait. Oh, we've sort of run over the railway. We've got a hole in our canal. We'll come back to that. We'll fix that in a bit. But this is oddly satisfying. We're actually casting a shadow on what we built down there. All right, so over to here where we have some space. We're going to do another Pukeno. All right, okay, that looks good. That looks suitable. Now we come back. We select that lower level. We reduce the size. And hopefully we can just cut our canal through here without the sides leaking. It looks a bit dodgy. But hopefully it'll be okay. If I just keep my mouth still, we should be fine. I should probably fix that first as well. Hang on. Sorry, railway. You're in the way. And then over into that bit. Right, and then hopefully, if we press play, the poo should flow along there. Is it going to? Yep, it's going. It is going. Oh, no. What's happened there? It's like dropped. Why aren't you using my canal? Okay, game. Think you can outsmart me? How about this? How about we literally build a canal? All right, so now when we hit play, it still floods. Or does it? Or does it? No, it definitely still floods. It gets to that point, and then it just drops through. Why? Oh, oh, we might have done it. We might have done it. Is it good? It might just be, it might just be clipping through that. I think it's in the canal. Yes! All right, this is good. This is good. Perhaps you might have somewhere new to travel to. Because although Architect Hill is quite a sight to behold. No, they've, oh no, they've rebuilt. Because I installed the mod, they've rebuilt. Oh no. Tell you what though, something Architect Hill does need. An actual monument of the meteorite that created it. Oh look, and with the fire in the background. Oh, this is perfect. Architect Hill is back. So yeah, if you haven't been following the entire series of this, Architect Hill is where the architects of Engertopia is where they live. Because I wanted them to be surrounded by poo. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, uh, the engineers are also surrounded by poo. But we're fixing that. We're we're fixing that. But yeah, they also they got hit by a meteorite, hence this monument here. They also do suffer fires quite a bit up here. And um, that's just what draws people in. So these are the, they're the engineers. They come up on their visit. You get to tour Architect Hill and see it in all its glory. It's a good time of year to come when there's a fire. Anyway, how is our poo canal doing? It's doing ooh, very good. So good. We're filling up the poo cano 
part two. Nice. So you can see people do poo in waves. Like there's a little, there's a low point there. We can sort of see like the timeline of people's poop. So I think there's like turtle surges every so often. But yeah, this is good. I'm sort of thinking it might be risky, but can I like lower these edges? I'd love to go for like a minimalist canal. I mean, I probably can't up here. There's a there's a fair bit of poo water coming in right now. But yeah, this is good. Right. Okay. Let's let's get to work on trying to make this look a bit more a bit more engineered. So level terrain. If we click like just down here, I'm quite intrigued to see what will happen if. For example, we just cut into it. Okay, okay, I think poo does leak out the side if we do that. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Okay, we can't go that low. We cannot go that low. All right, is that good or is that still leaking? Let's have a look down here. I think think it stopped leaking sweet okay we'll do we'll do that level yeah but i won't go too far over here because this is where it all gets a bit a bit wonky oh that looks that looks very very smart right and there we go next up we've just gotta we just gotta try and get boats to come along here so will you come along here mr boat all right it will but it won't it won't connect to that it says water required i'm pretty sure if we can get like a tidal surge going or a turtle surge in this case i was hoping like a big wave of water will get over that white dry area all right how about we add some more of these there they go there they go yes okay that worked uh next up uh we probably need to turn those off because we're leaking let's just delete all those that was too much poo we also need to put our like our dam level back in basically i think i just want like whatever level is over there so right click there grab the level put it in as a little coffer dam there wait there's way too much there's way too much coming through we might have to raise the level even more what is going on where's all this poo come from <laughs> was it taco tuesday did you guys just have taco tuesday is that is that what's going on oh no oh Oh man, this is a disaster. I think this was like my posh area. This was all posh and now it's all it's all gone. Oh man, all of this. What is going on? There's so much water. There's just so much poo. Anyway, the canal is back on track now. That's no longer flooding, thankfully. So we can probably open this up to boats and stuff. So ferry stop there. Yeah, surprisingly, we can't connect those together. So we'll delete that. We'll build a little plateau. Oh, the water physics in this game are so weird sometimes. All right, so drag from this stop over to this stop. Yes. Okay, now our boat should come up here. We just got to give these guys power and water sorted. Right, now we should get when the next boats come up. Where are, where are the boats? Oh, here's one. Here is one. All right, so we're going to follow this guy. Imagine you're on a tour. You're like, to your left, there is Atlantis currently under construction. Very, very impressive engineering over there. Uh, we're currently driving through the cleaning odd things they turn horrible architect poo into lovely fresh water for engineers to drink next we'll make the climb up the poop chute over to your right you can see the lovely engetopia currently under three foot of poo water over to your left a new area i don't know what to call that one currently a mess of highway spaghetti though but then finally up the top we've reached the main attraction of our destination architect hill now over to your left you can see that's literally what architects drink what they breathe in disgusting over over on your right that's where they live i know don't go too close try not to make eye contact if you see any of them and then then we've got a new a new part of our tour we're heading along the brand new sewers canal Oh yes, not much to look at. It's all, it's all quite natural over here. Over to your left, you can get an even better view of Atlantis. You can actually see down there now. Look how dry it is. Look at all those pumps. So much engineering went into that. And then we're about to get to the end of our trip. Feel free to jump out and grab a coffee. There's a vending machine up there if you want one. And then we'll just turn around making sure we don't fall into the new poo -cano. And then we head back along. This is... <laughs> I can't dump myself. This is awesome. Hey, look at that road network down there. That is a beast, if I say so myself. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about, are we going to be able to make it up this hill very easily? Oh, yes, mate. And this one? Yes. <laughs> what a boat trip that is. That's literally incredible. I've outdone myself here. All right, nice. And then just back down the poop chute. And that is the tour. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was, that was absolutely great. Fantastic, that was. It looks like most of the leaks have stopped as well. So this should fill up with poo water, and hopefully that will prevent... Oh, man, it's a disaster down here. What have I done? I don't even know how I'm meant to get rid of all this. Like, my city is literally half under poo. 
I come to hit all the skate parks, all the churches. Oh no. Is anyone still skating? Maybe up this end? That's it, lads. Don't let the poo get you down. You gotta make the most of the situation. <laughs> that guy's like, what has this place become? He's just looking around like, where do I live? Like, wh why did I move here? So I guess the question is, because yeah, annoyingly, everyone's everyone's drinking the poo water now. This was our fresh water. I think that's definitely contaminated. So I'm gonna have to use some of my skills I've learned while building Atlantis, etc., to try and fix this. So First of all, we're going to come into the water sewage and heating tab. We're going to scroll to the end where we have this. The super water pump. Yes, we're using these again. Three of those along there. Be more along this edge. And I guess we're just going to fill this edge with these pumps. Right, so that's a lot of pumps. Let's let's hit pause because at the moment, they're not pumping anything. There's two things we can do to fix that. We can, we can firstly, if we come along here, we can select the pipe. And if we connect all of these together, then when we hit plate, they should. Yes, can you see? They're starting to suck water out. Now, I made sure not to connect any of the pipes to our drinking water. We don't want people drinking this any more than they already are. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I forgot there's a boat thing here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Sorry, mate. I forgot. But yeah, that's draining some of the poo water out. However, we can we can up this. At the moment, you can see they're all complaining. They don't have any power. So let's just grab a few windmills to go down the back. And I think that should make them pump even more. So you, can you see here? There's like an inverted turtle wave now. So hopefully as this all drops, all the poo water from in our city should leave. But yeah, these boats, they're having a wicked time now. Yeah, just, just keep your mouth shut if you're on this ride. You don't want poo get water getting in your mouth but yeah hopefully we'll start lowering the level of this so let's let's do show you a little time lapse and we'll see what actually happens if we just leave this going for a little bit yeah you can sort of see down the river there's like an inverse tidal wave so that's like where we've drained all the water yeah you can sort of see that's making more space for the fresh water that's sort of pushing back the poo now although under our bridges it's still there a little bit the poo water level in the city has dropped but we've we've sort of got a dam we might have to like well we might have to release the water out of the city or we can just wait for it to evaporate I guess, but that will leave a lot of turds just lying around. We already saw on our runway earlier, we don't like the logs just being left everywhere. All right, so I think things have sort of cleared up pretty nicely. We, I think we're going to need to a bit of manual labor here. What I'm thinking, if we delete some of these pumps now, because there's, there's fresh water up here. So to try and drain all this poo water here, I'm going to do like a little a little channel, and we're literally just going to do like a chunk through this hill. That's it. Release all the poo water from the city. There it goes. There it goes. And look, the skaters are returning. So nice. The water's leaving there. It should drain this, and then down at this end, we we, we actually have some clean water down here, I think. I think we may have fixed it. Look, there appears to be a lot of poo water coming down. Like, what? <laughs> what is going on with all these? We could surround this Pukeno in sewage pumps as well. Because I do think there's just... Like, this is overflowing. Surely there's too much coming down there. So if we start putting these, like, along this edge, connect up to there. And then, yep, these are now just of sewage into there, which hopefully means these ones should work a bit less. That's the theory, anyway. The only trouble now, I'm a bit concerned, the water level of this river is very, very low. I mean, look at the foundations of the bridge. They should not be exposed like that. How is our canal up here doing? This is a canal. What's going on with those boys? They're like... <laughs> I think they're showing, like, what the max water level were. Looks like floodwaters are coming in through here. Why aren't you lot pumping? I'll tell you what, now we actually own this this tile, because that, that was the limit of where we could build last time. We can actually just, like, move over this way now. That's it. That's it, guys. Pump it away. Right, and just like that, I think we've stopped Atlantis from being flooded. Definitely ish. I think it will take a little bit for the water to be drained. But, uh, yep, happy with that. We, ha we have achieved. Definitely achieved. Meanwhile, you guys, why don't you have electricity? What's going on here? Oh, it's because I cut the cable through the... Okay, okay. There we go. We got power again. Right, now this is a thriving community. The helicopter tours are back in business because they got power. Oh, man, I, I literally forgot how... <laughs> I forgot how efficient Atlantis was. But no, it's pretty decent down here. They do have a bin problem, though. I might put an incineration plant, like, up there. Maybe two of them. So whilst they're not drowning in water, it does look like they're drowning in garbage. But yeah, poo problem nearly, nearly fixed. There's still there's still way too much poo coming out of this thing. Oh, look at this place. Just bur it's on fire. It's burning. My sinkhole did nothing earlier. I mean, sinkhole bridge is literally underwater. So apart from this area, I think we achieved today. I think the sewers canal will 
will attract new tourists who of course will be landing via our underground airport. Um, and yeah, I think we'll say peace, love, and a whole lot of pollution. Get it? Pollution. I made that joke like 10 times this episode, so I hope you got it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.